point, you know, um, where, what he was using those monies for. Uh, sometimes there were some, um, some, some issues um, pertaining to um, um, possibly the um, university or some events that, were, that he was um, hosting or some other issues. But it's really difficult to say um, that he was using these monies exactly for, you know, for these reasons. We know that he had a big appetite for money and um, he spends um, a lot also, some on you know, people, uh, some on, on you know, equipment or material, and some on you know, his family or himself. And some will be um, for the state you know, in certain, um, certain, certain areas. But I, I wouldn't be able to pinpoint really why um, he was using you know, those money or requesting those money for. Well, when he says, for example, I'm using this for it's an, an, an audience state matter, an, an audience, and he wouldn't tell you what that state, what that audience is, or what that matter for the state is. Sometimes he says it deals with security. Sometimes it's just you know leave, left you hanging, you know, um, there. Um, it's, it's just difficult. Did the president acquire any asset whilst you were there? A secretary general or Sorry? Secretary. did he acquire any asset that you know of whilst you were there? Did he acquire any, any asset? asset? Asset. Well during yes, during my uh, my time um some of the June June resorts and um and some other some other places around the coastal area that you would hear, you would know that, you know, he said he bought it, he, it's, it was his, you know, some properties. And the ranch over there and whatever is in there at Farato. And um, some other um, vehicles, you know. And there are many. Okay. The ranch at Farato. Um, what exactly is this ranch at Farato? They have animals there, cattle. Um, Farato farms. The one yes, Farato, Farato farms. farms. Yeah. All right. Now um, I would like to ask you about tractors called the Mahindra tractors. Yes. Do you know about the Mahindra tractors? Yes, ma'am. Were you involved in the um, the process of? Um, uh, the loan that was um, granted for the Mahindra tractors. At some point, yes, I was involved. At okay, the tell us, tell us your involvement about the Mahindra um, tractors. Sometime, I believe, is in 2006. Um, there was a trip to India um, where um, Gaipur. And I think the Ministry of Finance and um, the Ministry of Agriculture and the Office of the President um, were part of the trip. Members were part of the trip to India. Were you part of the trip? I was um, part of the trip, I think, as a um, principal assistant secretary or something at that time. Um, we went to India and we were received by um, officials from Mahindra um, company and um, our honorary consul um, general who was um, at the time Sanjay Diwan. Um, the purpose of the trip was to um, visit the site of um, Mahindra the kinds of tractors that they manufacture and um, um, what they had you know, um, to show. And um, I think it was being funded by Exim Bank of India, um, if my memory serves me right, as a grant.
So, while we were there, we visited the site, um, went to different um, locations where they manufacture different types of um, tractors for um, different um, uses. Um, we met with um, officials from the um, Exim Bank of India, and um, um, there were discussions, I believe, on the way forward. I was a junior officer then, but I was present during those meetings. Did you secure I, the supply of tractors to Gambia? Did I? Did, did, did the missions secure the supply of tractors to they Gambia? They end up securing um, the supply of tractors. How many tractors? Um, it was supposed to be 500 altogether. But I, I don't know whether that was exactly what was brought, what was delivered. But I assume that 500 tractors were delivered. What happened to the 500 tractors? Um, when they came, they were stationed at the MSA at Kotu, MSA site at Kotu, and for some time. And I, it, it was meant for the mechanization of agriculture, of Gambian agriculture, Gambian farming. And um, when, they, when they arrived, I think they were um, assembled and then some were brought at the state house to show um, um, the president. And um, I, I used to see some at, in front of the KGI uh, building on Karaba Avenue. And I do understand that um, some were sold, some were given out to you know, some farmers, and um, some were used by the former president at his farms, and the rest I do not know what happened. Um, the ones you had were sold. Who, who sold them? Um, Surely not the office of the president. Where, um, where KGI, were they? yes, KGI, um, KGI. Um, sold them. You, you are aware? Did you recollect, do you recollect the value of the, the whole consignment? We'll, we'll retrieve no, you, ma'am, I do not. We are retrieving the documents anyway. They over $6 million. I do not remember, recall. Who else was on that mission with you? I think it was um, uh, Mr. Keba Ature. At that time, he was the CEO of Gaipa, Gypsa at that time. Um, I think it was Abdul Koli, the Minister of Finance then. The Minister of Finance. Uh, and I, and Nafi, um, Nafi Bari, Ms. Naf Mrs. Nafi Bari, or at that time was PS at the Ministry, I think, of what, what is finance or trade? Yeah, one of them, finance or trade. And um, uh, Surua, Mr. Surua Jete, I think, was at the Ministry of Agriculture. And one other staff, I think, is a female, I don't remember. What about the John Deere tractors? Were you in the, in the office of the president when these were purchased? I was, I was there at the time. Okay. Can you tell us about the John Deere tractors? John Deere, John Deere tractors, um, the company was, was introduced to the president, to the former president, by, I think, one um, um, Mr. Jackson McDonald. Oh, where is he from? He, he, he was based in the United States in Washington, D.C. Um, um, the president, I think, discussed with him about, you know, um, making
organization of you know, farming in the Gambia. And um, that he needed you know, his help to um, establish contact with the company you know, so that he can deal with them in acquiring you know, tractors. He said that um, he had uh, tractors before, and that was probably referring to the Mahindra you know, tractors. But for him, that was a failure. But he wanted to, um, to get into business with these people so that they can supply tractors to the Gambia, um, which would be used for um, a project he had that is the Vision 2016, you know, um, there was a Vision 2016 project of funds that he was expecting, you know, for agriculture. So um, contacts were made and they, they visited the country and um, had an audience with, you know, the former president. Um, uh, during that audience, there were, um, the, the, the president um, explained or told them the types of um, tractors um, he, he was looking for. There was this um, experience he had with Macy Ferguson manufacturers, you know, um, they also manufacture tractors, which he said um, he had an experience or bad experience with them. So um, basically he told them what he wanted and they said they were ready and they were able to provide, you know, those, um, those tractors. And um, um, they left and then later on um, communications um, ensued and um, um, they came back again, they came back um, for probably, you know, to finalize or to work on the terms of um, um, payments and the uh